It's been a week since Alvis Kwashi, the general manager for the Joy Brands here at the Marty Media Group, died. Today here at the forecourt of our Kokomemle office, friends and family members gathered in tributes for a one-week memorial. Mr. Kwashi died 49, suddenly after a short illness, leaving a loving family and a broken team of journalists and workers. Here's a tribute by sports journalist Nathaniel Atto. So if the collected calm Efo Koku Elvis sang to you these words of praise, why then did you not add to his days? But just as the norms of his native Anyako will go, we do not question the ways of the Father. So in utmost humility, dear Lord, we the sons and daughters are tempted to ask the Father why. Why did you not listen to our prayerful cry? For the once fluid river Koku Bonyede Elvis of living water has eternally run dry. We, the multimedia friends, search the folding arms and bespectacled face and the clean, bold shave topped with a business look. We, the Bishop Herman, search the cool and calculated steps of a young man from Volterland. To which place can we fan off our street? Place the spontaneous giggles and tickles and the jokes and laughter. Where do the sudden Evelyn and offspring seek comfort and daily energy? And where does the church Pentecostal locate its daily and dedicated flock of Elvis? Where will we keep wailing and wanting to hear our voices go above the clouds? Because in our weakness, we want to bring our crave to your mercy for the shaken collective family. And so in utmost humility, dear Lord, we the sons and daughters are tempted to ask the Father why. Why did you not listen to our prayerful cry? For the once fluid river Koku Ponyede Elvis of living water has eternally run dry. And to you, the silent effo, you have fought well, but the race is still on. The race can only lower when offspring stand on strong feet with no will to ever retreat. Some of the time we will pray and hope that the divine heavenly bells will chime and create warmth for the lovely Evelyn and the lonely one in the times of loneliness and cold. Some of the time we will hope that the bullish storms clear the paths for the less privileged. Some of the time we will pray for the feedback ridden voice to ring incessantly in all of our ears so the multimedia quality can be kept above the clouds. And some of the time we will hope that we will never sleep on this legacy created by our dear Elvis. So in utmost humility, oh dear Lord, we the sons and daughters are tempted to ask the Father why did you not listen to our prayerful cry and drenched in the heartbreak our saw vocal cords almost chant w-h-y for the once fluid river koku bonyede elvis of living water has eternally run dry tributes and fond memories came from people who had known and worked with elvis Here's the Chief Human Resource Manager here at Mart Media, Nana Elegba. There is virtually no life that Elvis did not touch in the office. So truth be told, Elvis's passing is a huge blow and a devastating loss for us. We are simply in pain. Pain that refuses to go away. We are heartbroken. We are shattered. But we are comforted by the words of Richard Russo, an author and screenwriter, who says, and I quote, Lives are like rivers. Eventually, they go where they must, not where we want them to. Elvis, if we had a choice, you would have continued to remain with us and not gone so soon. Efo Koku, God knows that we did everything in our power to ensure that you would recover from your short illness. There is nothing more we could have done to save you as much as we wish we could have. Efo Koku, no matter what tomorrow brings, we will uphold your legacy by continuing to embrace professionalism, 
hard work, courage, tenacity, compassion, and selflessness, just the way you would have. A popular phrase of yours when challenges came up was that, Chief, I will fix it, or Chief, we will fix it. Elvis, be assured that we will continue to fix any challenges that will come the way of your beloved Joy Brands, just as you would. Information Minister Kojo Pong Krumah, who until 2014 worked here too, and with Alvis spoke fondly about Alvis's work ethic. I honestly don't have very much to say, uh, just to thank everybody who has made time to uh, be with the family and the organization this morning. As we all sit here and listen to the testimonies about Elvis, I think it should be clear to all of us that someday we will all pass. And there will be an opportunity for people to share of us or to share with the world what we meant to them. The real question is what would we be remembered for? And what is the value system that we would have left behind? If you permit me to speak on behalf of the alumni of uh, multimedia, I would say that our hearts are warmed listening to the testimonies of um, Elvis's subordinates and colleagues about how great a boss and how real a boss he was. Elvis is not start off as a boss. Around 2007, 2009, we shared a common boss, but told us Antesiedu, Mr. Kwesichum, who is here, and Mr. Ken Ashigbe, who is now the telecoms chamber. But I think what has worked for Elvis over the years, which we all must take away, is the value system which he kept faith with and which he has passed on to the younger generation. Our best testimony will not be the tears or the pain or the words, but to live that value system so that future generations can also pick it uh, from us. While we uh, console with the family and pray for strength, may we live these values. Thank you. Preaching the sermon, Pastor Atu Akwa said, our late boss was still with us. What we call death sometimes is a tool in the hands of God. I asked the Lord, why would you let the timekeeper visit Elvis so early? And he said, that there are times that I use what you call death to end pain. I said, how? And he took me to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, the verse 1, the verse 8, and the verse 9. The Bible says that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. As far as we are concerned, we lost Elvis. But dear friend, the truth of the matter is that we haven't lost Elvis. Elvis only checked out of what he was living in as a house here on earth. Mr. Kwashi will be laid to rest on February 19 in his Volta home. Here are representatives from his family giving details. The loss of Koko has been uh, so devastating to the family in a way that we are yet to come to terms of what actually happened. But this morning, I want to thank everybody here who, since the day he was sick, we saw most of you coming to rest at the hospital. What you did, we have appreciated. That is in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 9 verse 10. The Bible says, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all your might. For there is no work, no understanding, no knowledge, no scheme of work in the grave where you are going. It means therefore that all of us sit here, one day we shall go that way. But what are we doing? So whatever we are doing here today, we have to do it to the glory of the Most High God. So when that day, when the call that came to us comes to us as well, we shall be found going to the bosom of the Most High God. We so appreciate everybody here this morning. I want to thank all of you that as we have started together, you will help us to end it in Jesus' name. 
I also want to take this opportunity to announce the funeral day to all of us here this morning. Uh, the funeral will be held in February, that is 18th and 19th of February. Uh, uh, but there will be no work keeping. But on the 18th, uh, the family will be gathering at the residence of Elvis. Uh, we are inviting all friends and well wishers to join us. And on the 19th, the funeral will be held at a venue yet to be announced. And um, after the funeral, we shall send him to Asaram, the village for burial. That will be on the 19th. And on the 20th, we shall have a, a Thanksgiving service at this church, uh, Mataeku, Church of Pentecost English Assembly. From there, we'll go back to the house to conclude everything. So we want to say a very big thank to everybody here. And we still uh, expecting that you'll still be with us till the last day that we shall send Elvis off. The multimedia group has opened a book of condolence and everyone is invited to come pass by at the Joy FM reception. Mm -hmm.